Wow. That is pretty. Good I've route. learned they're not known for music. You might get some hate for that. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm not gonna even try because I don't know. Nusch one sign. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It is your favorite couple from the Midwest, Ethan and Angela. Welcome to the channel if you're new. Hello, hi there. Uh, anyway, today we're gonna to be taking a look into something we have looked at, uh, we've done a couple of videos on. We're gonna be taking a look at Germany. Ooh. Uh, it's a lovely, lovely place. And we have special ties to Germany. Now, as many of you guys know, we are coming to the UK here in just like a month. This is like our first international trip. And honestly, this would probably be, if we had to do a second international trip, oh, at least another country, it probably would be Germany. Probably. Uh, there's some places I would kind of rather, I would say maybe rather go to. <laughs> It'd be between, probably a toss up between Switzerland and Germany. Oh, uh, well, yeah. Switzerland's but, like top of your list that, all the time. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> but as we have family in Germany, that's kind of like the next step. If we didn't have the channel and hadn't made so many good friends in the UK, we probably <laughs> would be going to Germany first. But anyway, guys, we're going to be checking out top 10 best places to visit in Germany. As I have never been, mm -hmm. I wouldn't know. And when you went, you were kind of more not secluded, but you didn't. It really was a little it. secluded. It you was like designated to one area. Yeah, you didn't do a lot of abroad. But she has been over there and she was over there for two months. Almost, yeah. Actually, so. over. It was 10 weeks, so I got a good dose. But I'd love to go back again, and I'm really curious on what these new places are. Before we end the video, like, what were your, you went, to, did you fly into Berlin, or did you go to Hamburg? No, I only ever went to Hamburg, and I went a little bit to Hanover, but I didn't really explore the city of Hanover. It was okay. just a day trip, so you're it was pretty a much, very long day. You were just stuck, like, in a little village? Pretty much. Okay. <laughs> but I loved the village. It was very cool, very culturally... Different. Different, yes. <laughs> but before we get in the video, guys, just as a reminder, if you like the video, please leave it a like. If you like the channel and the content and us, then please consider subscribing and joining. And with that being said, let's get in the video and check out the top t best places to visit in Germany. Cheers, creaky. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Uh, it looks like something straight out of like the 1600s to me. <laughs> it probably is. Oh, true. Best known for its famous Oktoberfest and World War II history, Germany is also home to some of Europa's most beautiful scenery, fairy tale castles, important historic sites, and lively party scenes. Located in the heart of Europe, Germany maintains the continent's most powerful That's economy. Here's a look at the best places to visit in Germany. That one definitely is. Oh! Wow. I'm building some mountains. Yeah. Number 10. Rotenburg. The walled city of Rotenburg sits on a plateau overlooking the Tauber River in Bavaria. Straight from the pages of a fairy tale, the town is famous for its extremely well-preserved medieval center. Wow. Be sure to visit the town hall, the seat of city government since medieval times. Climb oh, wow. the steps of the 13th century so, yeah. hall's tower for stunning views of the city. Rotenburg is also famous for the stores that carry Christmas items all no, year. Wait a minute. Look at all those little windows. Is that each a different level or do they just have like the ceiling with those little tiny windows? Well, honestly, I don't know. That's weird. My guess as a construction worker is that it's like one big, huge vaulted room up there, but maybe not. But that seems <clears> weird <throat> to have those kind of windows. This, this would be a, this would be probably, no, that could be that look like a spiral offset. staircase. They're offset. Yeah, it could be a staircase. I don't know. I, I don't know. It seems like they'd be really short levels of a room if they are. It's a big building. Do you notice how steep all the roofs are? Yes. That was one thing I always noticed. And for having an outstanding Christmas market each December. <laughs> I like the stair stuff That's in the cool. front there. It is very well preserved, it looks like. It looks well, you, like. Mean, you even mentioned that you said like Germany was very clean. Pretty clean, yeah. And very, like, you said like the woods and everything, just very... Oh, yes, I think very... uh, wildlife is very mm -hmm. clean. Yeah. Wildlife. Nature. That's cool with the bridge. Or the tunnel. That's a hotel, that's cool. <laughs> it spells it twice. Oh my gosh, the, the, I get Germany is old too. I mean, technically every place in the world is the same age, but as a country and buildings and all that. Uh, as a country, like, our country's yeah, yeah. newer. But anyway, um, the roads always get me. I get, like, They're they so built scary. the cities, they built them for like horses, the yeah. roads, and now with cars, but it's just like, Even a horse so and buggy skinny. Kind of skinny for that. I think it's one way passing. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cool though with the vines growing on the brick. Actually looks really well in good shape for yeah. the brick road. 
Well, like she was saying, it's very well preserved, and I, you can see it. Number nine, Rugen Island. Located in the Baltic Sea, Rugen Island is the largest island in Germany, connected to the mainland by a bridge and causeway. Charming villas, romantic seaside resorts, and beautiful beaches all draw tourists to Rugen Island. But the star attraction is the Yasmund National Park, famous for its unique chalk cliffs rising 528 feet over the sea. Another notable feature of Rugen Island is Cape Arcona, East Germany's northernmost tip, where tourists can visit an old lighthouse, remnants of a Slavic castle, and a picturesque fishing village. Wow, that is pretty. That was nice. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, or train. Mm -hmm. I think this is all on the island. Yeah, or near it. I wonder if that, like on the dock, I feel like that's probably either a hotel or a restaurant, maybe? Maybe. Or it could be an event center. Yeah, it looks a little too small for a hotel. Number eight, Romantic oh, Rhine. Stretching That's between cool. the cities of Bingen and Bonn, Germany, the Middle Rhine flows through a dramatic Bingen geological Bonn. formation called oh, the oh, Rhine nice. Gorge. This region features a spectacular landscape dotted with some oh, wow. 40 medieval castles, picturesque villas, and terraced vineyards. The region's cool. most famous natural attraction is the Lorelei, the deepest and most narrow section of the Rhine Gorge, which features huh. a large, treacherous rock that caused several boating accidents prior to the 19th century. The best way to experience the romantic Rhine is by a riverboat cruise. Interesting. That was like the that was like the best type of little village because you get like again like the mountains and you have right on a nice big river. Yeah, it actually everything's kind of, rolling. I was gonna say it reminds me <clears> a little bit of like the Ozarks because they always have these big old rivers that just go through all yeah, the rolling hills. Yeah, but we don't. Um, down the Ozarks, it's not it's not built up like this. You don't have any big city. That's no, right not on the big river. cities. Well, it's because it's too steep. Everything's just like a shrunken version. Well, of that. I mean, <laughs> it's that's like this place is very steep, but they yeah. still did it. I know, but there's just more room to spread out. Well, it's just yeah, we. Okay, I'm just. I think everyone knows this. Like, but the U.S. is big. Yes. We have a lot of land. Yes. So, and let like people decide, like, oh, well, let's just go, you know, ten miles away where it's flat, you know, and build a city as opposed to being right on it. Right. That's they, true. They, they don't like the only time. The only reason, like, we have ones that are like on the rivers and stuff is like if it was been in the 1800s and if it like blew up like the city, then it'll still be in existence. But if it was just a to little an village. There's huge tourist uh, attraction by ha having a thing right on the river. Yeah, I'm just saying like, at least the in the Midwest, a lot of the places aren't right on the Like, you know, like I'm a big town right on the river. No, not a big town. You're right. I mean, New Orleans is like, right. but that's not oh, in that's the Midwest. Oh, that's so cool. Oh. It looks like straight out of a mini set. That is cool how it just dots the whole It looks like it's just a line. wall. Yeah, a wall of buildings. Look at that castle. Number Here's seven, there. Cologne. Situated on the Rhine River in the German federal state of North Rhine-Westphalia, Cologne is one of the most popular places oh, to wow. visit in Germany. The city the offers cathedral? a vibrant array of attractions, Probably. buzzing nightlife, and a stellar arts and culture scene. Cologne also packs impressive landmarks, such as the city's informal symbol, the Cologne Cathedral, a stunning Gothic yep. church. Moreover, the 12 wow. Romanesque churches are magnificent examples of medieval architecture. Ah, that's cool. Oh, they have one of those padlock. I think every country has one of those like padlock places. Maybe. It seems like. I don't know if we do. Oh, we have states that have it. Maybe. Oh. Wow. That is impressive. So much like layers. Whoa. So it's a. It's a cathedral, so like a church. Yeah, but it's like um, in use. I yeah. guess. It's what gets like... me is like back then, like that's probably 1600s. I'm getting 15, 1600s. Mm -hmm. It's just you know the labor was so much harder because they didn't. So like yeah. everything was hand hewn or it was like brought there by either like on a cart. A horse, yeah. Like it wasn't like a big, you know, bulldozer, it was years crane to lift these up. And they made such beautiful buildings. I know, absolutely. So like, much detail in every little. Piece. I can't think of anything that is modern. That's like, I mean, we have a whole different style that we build now, but right. Wow. This 
that's interesting. Oh, they're making bubbles. The pings are interesting. I'm wondering. I wonder why so. Haha, <laughs> KFC. <laughs> Sorry. Little bit of home. <laughs> I'm curious because of the painting. The painting almost seems like it's purposeful. Painting? The buildings here, I'll show you. Like, oh, how they're pink, painted different yellow, color. Yellow, green, orange. I wonder if that's maybe like historic. Okay, I'm just gonna ask. Oh, like in Germany, um, these maybe these old places. Is there like a historical level that you have to upkeep them? Like you can't oh. change them? Because I know that is like over here, like Boston, I know England has that too. Like you have to preserve it a certain way. Right. You can't modernize it. You can't like, you know. Do certain uh, things. You can't, like even the windows, you can't put modern windows. You have to have, or if you do, you have to have them that look the exact same. Oh, interesting. I'm, I feel like that's probably similar. Again, I don't know about the paint, <laughs> but it just yeah, seems very random that they like that. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Art. Oh wow, look at that. I think that's the building. It's right at. next to the other cathedral. That's not okay. Number That's not right next to it's it's like, like across look. several buildings. Yeah, well that's like pretty close. Number yeah. six, Dresden. Before it was severely damaged from oh, wow. World War II bombings, Dresden, Dresden was known as the Jewel Box because of its mm -hmm. lavish collection of stunning art and architecture. After many years, the city has restored much of its huh. former glory. The capital of the federal state of Saxony, Dresden offers a number of historic sites like the stunning Frauenkirk Cathedral. The city also boasts many cultural institutions, of which the Semper Opera is most widely esteemed. Oh, wow, oh, wow, look at that. The painting's just all along the road. That, or that walkway path. That's cool. So wow. actually, that could be canvas. Or do you think it's a painting? It's probably painted. I don't know. So yeah, all the buildings look very clean and like well maintained. Oh wow, look, look, look at that. Look, look, it starts like over here. And go oh, this is like the courtyard of I don't know wherever this place is. That's cool. That's the Old old buildings have so many windows. Yeah. Like look, it's just everything's well, a window. That's because they didn't have electricity, so they needed forms of light. Oh, nice. <clears throat> I think I've seen this. It looks familiar. Like out of a postcard Number five, or something. Lubeck. As one of the largest Baltic seaports in Germany, Lübeck is located in the country's northernmost state, Schleswig-Holstein, founded in 11... Oh, that's really cool. Okay, Lübeck is actually probably the biggest city close to where my sister lives. Okay, have you been to Lübeck? No, but I think my parents did when they visited her. Because I haven't visited my sister in a very long time. This is really cool how, like, the river actually wraps... Yeah. Around the whole thing. But what was cool because they they took a bunch of pictures when they were there is everything is kind of like, see all the roofs are brown? Everything is like matching. Those Found caps in 1143, Lubeck <laughs> served for several centuries as the capital seat of the Hanseatic League. Although it was the first German city to be bombed and damaged during World War II, Lubeck still retains much of its oh, medieval wow. architecture, making it a popular tourist destination. A walk through the narrow streets of the Altstadt offers views of historic sites like the stunning cathedral, the 12th century town. You can just kind of see it is a bit older mm -hmm. compared to the other ones. The 12th century town hall and the city gates, of which the Holsten Tor is the most famous. Hmm. That's yeah, nothing like a lot of people hang their clothes out. They don't have dryers. Okay, no, we have to clarify that. They do, I'm pretty sure they, they have, I know in England they have dryers. They don't have as many dryers they, as we do. No, I think they do. They have the washer dryer unit, I think. I don't know what's Germany like, guys, I don't know, let me know. <laughs> I know Europe, they just hang their clothes out because, like, why use the energy right. to dry your clothes when you have wind? But they do have, like, if in the winter time when, like, freeze dries and stuff, they do have a dryer. Sometimes, but not always. Maybe just your when sister I visited, doesn't have it. Maybe. That's cool. Number four, Heidelberg. Oh, I with historic this one. treasures like the medieval old bridge, the Heidelberg Castle, and the Church of the Holy Spirit and the Knight St. George House, it is no wonder that Heidelberg is a popular tourist attraction. Huh. The city center's main street is packed with pubs, restaurants, museums, art galleries, shops, and markets. Really, I, I'm just pointing out architecture, but this is really cool. It's, it's, like it's little, weird the tops of it though. It's just like a little, it's just like a gateway, but it's just this little, I wonder if this was like, um, 
this if this was actually like a lighthouse. No, this was like a guard tower. Oh, you can see there's a gate here. Like, yeah, like this was a gate, and you could like shoot through like arrows or whatever. It, it's very the... bizarre looking. Selling the likes of beer steins, cuckoo clocks, and German sausages. <laughs> Home to Germany's oldest university, Heidelberg's long academic history can be retraced along the Philosopher's Walk, a scenic footpath often walked by many early philosophers and professors. Huh. Nice. Oh, that's cool. It looks like it's personal. Yeah, as I say, it looks yeah. like. Yeah. I wonder if that was because. Oh, there's a little moat. I wonder if it was because they like, got bomb, hit by a bomb or something. Maybe. It's very old. That's another thing for us. We've never been to a place that's seen war, really. Other than like Civil War. Yeah, but like we didn't, not, not modern, like bombs. Right. Like, no. Since World War One or World War Two, we haven't been to. So even the. Well, no. Pearl we Harbor would have been. The we definitely, when we go to London, we'll definitely see that. Yeah. I'm sure there's some remnants of it, but. Oh, yeah. Germany was just bombed so heavily, like, uh, yeah. sure they have lots of ruins. That is a very interesting gate. Oh, it is, okay. Number three, Neuschwanstein. Oh. The most photographed building in Germany. Neuschwanstein Castle is also one of Europe's most popular tourist destinations. I was gonna say, I think I've among seen the this. breathtaking I beauty of the Bavarian the Alps, movies, near the I mean. town of Fussen, this fairy tale castle served as the inspiration behind Walt Disney's Sleeping Beauty Castle. Constructed mm. in the late 1800s, Neuschwanstein Castle was never built for defense purposes, as most castles. Instead, this castle was created as a fanciful retreat for King Ludwig II of Bavaria who had a huh. reputation for abiding in daydream. The fact that it's way up on a mountain, though, I feel like is kind of a defense in itself. Oh, no, you built it there so that it overlooks everything. I know, but at the same time, it'd be hard to, you know, send a huge army there when there's, like, well, one I mean, little path. they say late 1800s, they had cannons. Yeah, uh, I guess, but still, it's a lot to trees Instead to go through. Instead of reality. It's interesting, like back in the day, like 1200s, 1100s, it was like it was always like the best thing to have defense wise would be like a castle up on a mountain or yeah. a moat. And nowadays, it's like the best defense would be somewhere deep underground. <laughs> yeah, a storm shelter. That is pretty that's cool. crazy. That Look was, at the mountains behind it. Oh my gosh. That's, that's crazy. That was one person's place. Well, king. He was a king. Still. Very fancy. Festival. Number two, Munich. Best oh. known as the origin of the world famous Oktoberfest, Munich is one of the best places to visit in Germany with a great culture scene. I don't know, I guess I hear from this, but what is Oktoberfest? I've heard of it, <laughs> but what is it? I think it's kind of like a big drinking party. Is it like a big fall festival? I'm yeah, assuming, it's a I'm fall assuming festival. it's a fall festival, yeah. obviously, October. Yeah. But, okay, maybe, maybe they'll explain what they do, but. I'm, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of drinking involved. Munich is home to several sophisticated opera houses and theaters, like the National Theater. The city center is an attractive blend of classic and modern architecture, teeming cool. in historic churches, medieval walls, <laughs> nice. and royal palaces, as well as bustling shopping centers. This is one thing, German's music is kind of like polka and a lot of accordions, it seems like, at least for their more um, traditional. original traditional music. I was going to say, but I mean, they're in the rock, they're from in what pop, they're I've in learned, they're not known for music. Like, a lot of, they have a niche. You might get some hate for that. <laughs> I'm just saying, they have a niche. I would say you haven't but, heard, listened to it. Okay, album. my brother-in-law, pure German, not a fan of German music. Okay. okay. I'm just saying. Munich's Oktoberfest began in 1810 with a royal wedding celebration. Today, this famous festival draws millions of visitors every year to take part in the revelry that involves several gigantic beer tents, delicious Bavarian food, and millions of gallons of beer. I was gonna say, there's a lot of drinking involved. Wow. It's a lot of beer. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, it's so packed. Everyone has like big mugs. Gosh, how do Steins. You, how do they even? How did, they, how did she even pick that up? She's a strong woman. What? Oh, nice. I've never. I wonder if that's like a man-made wave. No, probably not. Wait, what is that building? I think I've seen that building. The this tall thing. one or the? I think this might be an orchestra building or like a stadium or something. I was gonna say it looks more like a stadium. It looks like a stadium, like a yeah. Stadium. Oh, and they drive on the right side of the road, so that'd be a bonus to us. Yes. 
We're still crazy drivers. That's what I've heard. That's cool. Number one, Berlin. The oh, capital of city of Germany, Berlin is widely associated with its World War II history and former division of East and West Germany by the Berlin Wall during the Cold War. Mm, Since the cool. fall of the historic wall in You said that right when you start talking about the Berlin Wall. No, I'm at the building! <laughs> in 1989, Berlin today is now a vast, unified city, diverse in ethnic groups, and abundant in sightseeing attractions, culture, and nightlife. Many tourists are drawn to Berlin's famous historic structures, wow. which include the Brandenburg Gate and the Reichstag. Although most of the Berlin Wall was demolished, there are some portions still standing near Checkpoint Charlie mm -hmm. and the Reichstag. Wait, is that an actual... I know we have bases in Germany. Is that... Well, do we have a base in Berlin? Uh, I want to. I want to. The checkpoint is just like probably historic, like we used. Yeah, to have one. it's kind of well. It's the, it's the separation between the wall because Germany had divided. Yeah. So the checkpoint. But it says was U.S. Army. That's what I'm saying. Oh. We used to have. We have a I lot of bases did. in Germany. Yeah. I think that's probably more historic now. Near checkpoint Charlie and the Reichstag. That's interesting. Yeah. It's like a maze. That's cool. Looks like a museum. That's what I was gonna say. Oh, neat! You can walk and spiral up that. Wow. Oh, those are the manicured woods. I think this is just a park. I know. Oh, they have the UK plug in? Oh, it was an embassy. Maybe. Wow. They like their bubbles. <laughs> they do keep showing people the bubbles. Oh, nice. What? It, it looks like, like a crystal on top. It looks like it's missing, like a broken. Yeah. It's not, but it just looks like that. That's. Strange. Oh. I think Berlin's a, actually a, it's a million people. Yeah, it's a big one. That was interesting. It says Berlin is like 3.6 million people. Oh, so that, it, yeah, that's big. Yeah, but it's not as big of an international. Oh, I shouldn't say that. I don't know. <laughs> but it's not as big as like London or New York. Well, no. So I don't know if it, maybe it's not as not big of half. an international hub. Maybe not, but it is probably the most commonly known place in Germany. Oh yeah, if, if you if someone says Berlin, you immediately think like Germany. Yeah. Because you most people know that Berlin's in Germany. Well, yeah. <laughs> Even in America, us dumb Americans, we still know that much. I think we probably know more of Germans' history than we do of England's in some ways because we were so involved during World War II. Well, and a lot of that is England still... England was super involved during World well, War II. Well, yes, but we weren't as... I don't know. I just feel like I've learned more about Germany I think American-wise, they teach... Of all the wars and all, like, international world history, World War II is taught the most. Yeah. What little it's taught. Current, it's always on the Germans. Yeah. It's never about, like, Russia or China. Or, or like, the other ones involved. Yeah, the other ones that... We're also doing horrendous. Yeah. I mean, the thing with war, every every Here comes side. The rant. No, it's just every side does horrendous things. Yes. Like even the Americans, like we help, but like the soldiers did horrible things too. Yeah. Like it's it's war and it's awful, but it, I mean, both there's no innocent party. No, anyway, that that's all I was trying to say. <laughs> I just don't. I, I just don't want to. Like, I'm just saying, as an no American, yeah. as an Americans, it seems like we are taught a little bit more of the German history and stuff. Well, because we're not taught the German with it. history. We're just taught like our side of it. Pretty much since World War II on with yeah. Germany. Not that yeah, yeah, past, yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's what I meant. Anywho, what I was just trying to say is we know a little bit more about Germany. It seems. Oops. No, that was really interesting. It did show mostly like cities and stuff. Yeah. And I'd be interested in like top ten like nature type places because we're more outdoorsy. I don't know. I liked the one place I liked was obviously the one with the mountains. <laughs> oh, with the famous yeah. castle. No, okay, gosh. Gotcha. New Schwanstein. New Schwanstein. I'm not gonna even try because I don't know. New New Schwanstein. I I just <laughs> I just pissed off. The, the W is pronounced like a V. I know that. Anyway, guys, that was the video. We're just checking out another country. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said, we've done a couple videos on Germany before. You can go check those out if you want. Make sure you send us some of your comments and uh, recommendations for other type of countries or just other places in Germany that you would recommend. Uh, anyway, the next international trip I th think might be Germany, so I'm definitely wanting to look in a lot more into this country. Oh, again, like I said, we have family ties there. Yeah. I have long lost family ties that <laughs> could be interesting to try to like find them. That would be interesting. Uh, but yeah, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Let us know what you thought down the video below. Please be safe, take care, look after one, and as always, cheers. Thanks for sticking with us.